If you own a camper, there are two things that are always going to be true. Number one, you're never going to have enough storage. Number two, your wife is always going to have a project for you. Linda saw something online, and today she's tasked me with doing that project. We're adding a shelf inside the camper. I want to say thanks to Russell for the idea for this mod. We tweaked it a little bit for our camper. We didn't have to use any saws, and it was a pretty easy thing to put together. It took us just under an hour. So the first thing we did was purchase a 1x8x4 by by foot long piece of oak. This didn't need to be cut at all, and it's the perfect size for the baskets I picked up at the container store. So these baskets match the ones I bought a few years ago to go behind the netting. And I like that they match the camper so well. Next, we purchased a bracket to mount the shelf on. We found a Simpson angle bracket that we really liked the design of. Then we spray painted it flat black. Also, we needed a couple of one and a quarter inch long bolts with two nuts each and some washers. Then we went online and purchased some really strong one inch magnets. And lastly, a scrap piece of plywood to use as a backer inside the cabinet. Now for tools, we needed a drill, a drill bit, and a one inch Forstner bit. And because safety first, we also used a clamp and some safety goggles. So here's where we tweaked it a little bit for our use. The shelf slides in under the netting and just rests on that end. Now we didn't want it to move or bounce around during travel and wanted to be able to easily take it up and down when we were parked. So we took the Forstner bit and countersunk the magnets. We drew out the design on the board. Then we placed the magnets where we wanted them to go. Went ahead and made a mark and took the bit and started drilling the holes out. It only took a few minutes per hole and just kind of working back and forth a little bit until we made sure that those magnets were in there flush. Now at this point, we could have screwed these magnets into the wood but we went another way and we're going to show you why in just a minute. First, remove the speaker so we could access inside the cabinet. So this is where you're going to install the backer board. We had already installed some a few years ago when we hung a basket up here. But here's a tip to make it a little easier. It's difficult to hold up the bracket and drill the holes through the wall and the backer board at the same time. So before you start, take the bracket, mark where the holes are, and drill out for the bolts prior. So you can just slide it over the bolts in the next step. Next, we marked where we wanted the bracket to go with a pencil, made sure it was level, and pre-drilled the holes. Then we pushed the first bolt through the bracket and the wall, made sure we were level, did the same with the second bolt. This is where you would just fit that pre-drilled board over the back of the bolts. Then attach with washers and we did double nut the bolts. So why didn't we screw the magnets in? Here's why. These magnets are really strong and stick to this bracket really well. We decided to leave them attached to the bracket as they won't move around easily and now we can just fit the board over them each time. So when we pull the baskets on and off, the magnets are strong enough they don't move on the bracket and because they are countersunk into the board, the board doesn't move either. Now, while not necessary, we did run a router around the edges just to make it a little easier to slide under the netting. 
Well, that was a great little project, and it looks really great. We love the oak look. Before that, we used the same type of material to make a tabletop, and we used the leftover to make a countertop extension. Both of them came out nice. The only thing left for us to do is get down the road and see how this works in the campground. Thanks for watching today's video. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And as always, Desi wants you to hit that notification bell.